Hello everyone and welcome back to Arctic Retro. So possibly just a short video here, <laughs> I don't know yet. This is a power supply I have been using for uh, Commodore 1541s and I was using it now on uh, a Commodore 1581 floppy disk drive. The one that I built and uh, suddenly it uh, came a loud bang. <laughs> from this and it actually blew out a fuse in my house i had to go down to the fuse box and turn it on again uh, <laughs> and it smelled terrible so i'm not sure what uh, caused it maybe it was uh, overpowered maybe the 1581 drew too much current so i was thinking uh, okay i'll just throw it away but it's uh, it was kind of a nice one, small and light, uh, however it says made in China. I don't remember where I got it, I think I got it with a 1541 floppy disk drive a long time ago. <laughs> But it should be powerful enough. It's uh, 12 volt 2 amps and 5 volt 2 amps. So I'm gonna try and open it up and see what has happened and uh, see if it's possible to fix it or not. But I think it's uh, glued. Uh, <laughs> so might not be possible to open it without uh, damaging it. Let me just try one of these metal prying tools to see if I can come inside it. I don't think there's any screws or anything. There's some uh, groove there, but uh, I can't feel any screws. It's not possible to take off these small feet. I think I'm gonna try and peel off this label, but uh, I'm not sure if that can be done without uh, damaging it. No, it just tears apart. I'm gonna use some uh, hot air just to loosen up the glue. Yeah, that was much easier. But uh, nothing particularly interesting there. Maybe if I heat the whole thing, uh, at least the sides, uh, it's, it's easier to, uh, to get it off. If it's uh, glued together, I'm not sure. It might be plastic welded. Nope. I think I found a trick to open this. I just pry here and it actually came loose. At least on this side. Maybe the heat did help. Oops. Yeah. All right, we're in. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, you see the burn marks down there. <laughs> oh. So, it looks like uh, something exploded here on this side. Maybe that was a small capacitor. Because on this side I can't see anything wrong. There's some capacitors. Uh, they look fine. Okay, I see it now. It's this one. It's some glass and it has a bursted. So maybe uh, the flame and smoke just went around here and uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's been any components there. But this charring might be that uh, was a uh, <laughs> A short actually caused by this and uh, actually started to burn before uh, the house uh, fuse went out. And this component here is actually a fuse. It's labeled F1, so uh, that's a fuse. But why it's shorted, I have no idea. So it looks like the trace here has been uh, burnt away. Yeah. Some traces here are also been burnt away. Here as well, it looks like. Yes, so this is definitely not worth repairing. I don't 
take a chance on using it uh, even if I could repair it. This is high voltage and um, yeah, <laughs> China goods, I don't trust it too much. Besides that, I don't trust any old computers or uh, any uh, sort of uh, tools I buy from uh, China. Not, not that I don't trust China, but I have seen so many examples of uh, poor design and dangerous design on uh, other channels and stuff. So even if I use it, I always turn off the power uh, to any device up here. I never let any old computer or any device uh, stay turned on uh, when I'm not here over the night or anything like that. So uh, yeah, just to be on the safe side, it's old stuff and you never know what can happen. So that was a short video. I can salvage uh, some of the components here. I mean, this wire could be nice to have. And I'm gonna desolder this IEC contact here and maybe I'm gonna desolder this uh, transformer um, but uh, other than that I'm gonna throw this away oh yeah I, I see here what might have happened now I zoom in you see this chip it has probably um, blown and it's uh, all black under it and uh, it's perhaps the thing that made this uh, short out not sure what kind of chip that is but uh, yeah. Anyway, this chip is a chip that is connecting between the primary side and the secondary side and uh, yeah, uh, that means it is uh, hooked up to the high power end of this, so that definitely might have caused the short here. Yeah, this one just goes into the bin then. At least there was a fuse that blew, but still it took out a fuse in my house fuse box and uh, that's not good. I never experienced that before. Anyway, that was it for this short video. Hope you enjoyed it uh, and uh, see you next time. And thanks to all my patrons, my members and all the subscriptions and likes. See you.